Hello everyone, welcome back to another video for me, Beast of My Name. And today in that video, I wanna go through my account stats and comparing that with the old video which I did back in the day four months ago here. Um when I was about to fight TFS, the number one alliance, back then in the day. And yeah, we're using that video to compare at least the stats, uh, the heroes and stuff have not much changed, but at least the stats we're gonna have a look on. And then, yeah, seeing how it went up in these four months. So let's jump into the video. All right, guys, so here are the stats. We have, we had back in the day, 64 main power, right? And we had 101 main, uh, well, let's say 102 million units killed and 72.5 million units healed. And on the current stats here on the right side, you see I have right now 155 million units killed and 108 million units healed. So in the last four months, I got uh, 36 million units more healed, but I gained 53 million uh, more killed. So it went up positive and yeah, the, the gap between units killed and units seed went from a 30 million, like or around 30 million ish up to a almost 50 million difference. So I'm happy with that. I like that the, uh, the stats keeping up positive and going better and better and better. And the gap between killed and seed is getting bigger. Um, over the time and yeah what else do we have here that our stats right the legions we can have a look on the legion already so let's see the legions so we had about 500k t5 archers back then and 400k t5 mages so let's see how it is right now now we got 751k uh, t5 archers and 611k t5 mages um so it went up very good in terms of numbers. I'm gonna be not pushing at all. I'm gonna like normally training over time and because I'm gonna save all my speed ups for a big push when I join 293 with my main account. But to that we're coming later also. So let's go back to the video. Go back to the uh, legions where merits. It's can have a look on the merits. Uh, let's see, Merit back bed was like uh, uh, 6 million. Um, yeah, but I mean, research, let's see, research. You see it was like for infantry pretty at the begin. You can check it now. It's almost done, as you can see. And I have not, I have used only the research speedups for that, right? So you see infantry is about to finish in... 26 uh, days, the last one here, to be able then to unlock T5 infantry. And well, Kev takes some more time, but I will get there also at some point. All right. Um, yeah. So what else we have to check? We checked the stats on the legions. Maris were 6 million. It was a little bit lower this season because uh, due to the health issues, what I told you about. Um, so what else can we check now? I think we're gonna start here on the bottom right with the heroes. So what did, or how are the heroes looking right now? So I got Symbian to six stars. I got Kinarot on six stars. Lilia, Velen, Frega are all on five stars. As well as Horse is also on five stars as well on Asera. Uh, Nico is on six stars. If you remember back into season one plus, I heavily focused on Kinawa and Nico and got them basically up pretty early on uh, six stars and also both awaken. Uh, my next target is basically to do now Liga and get her the, the defense penetration because I got my Archer, my Sinvin done. Vega is not really a must right now. I want to more focus on Liga to get her because I use Liga all the time. So I really need to get this five, uh, six stars on her immediately um what else do we have we have overall for ega is about to getting finished like with her dailies um which i'm happy about 
she is 36 days basically um, away from being awakened, if you want to count just her dailies, uh, from the VIP shop. And um, Zeta. I got turn 5141 with the tokens which I have saved. It's not much what I have saved, but I'm quite happy. Uh, quite happy with uh, the level that I have her right now. I'm gonna make her after I have worked on Frega. I'm gonna work on her and get her awakened. And after that, I'm gonna then unlock Magrid and gonna get her up then. That's so far my goal for the heroes. Uh, yeah, Tay Awaken, Indus. I mean, to be honest, Indus, I don't care to be uh, like. It is not really necessary, so I wafer to get the training speed ups from the shop instead of the Indus tokens. And the rest have not really much changed here since back when. Yeah, Garwood, I don't focus on Nika. It's just from the gold keys, right? Like these gold key infantry and half heroes, Bakshi, Emrys. I mean, I, I, I will get her at some point awakened, but it's just very slow. Right, and then all these he was asked were not. Um, Skugu is 5-3. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's, as you see, mainly archers here, which I'm focusing on, and then obviously my, my Lilia Velen, way too much. That's it. Um, yeah, so let's go to the items, which I think is more interesting for you. So we got Shadow Blades, Gold Quest, Phoenix Eye, Inferno Flame, Spring Late, Heart of Kamezi, all on 6 stars, level 60, all finished. I got Shadow Blades on level 5, I got Cold Quest on level 5, Phoenix Eye is almost level 5, which I'm happy about, so um, uh, Inferno Flame is level 4, Spring Blade is level 4, Heart of Kamezi only level 2, unfortunately, I wish to have it a little bit higher. And then we have Spring Bird, on level 4, then we got Kingslayer on level 3, Storm Arrows on level 3, Dragon Scale Armor on level 1 only, Bloodblade Banner on level 2 only, unfortunate, Lucius Horn is level 1 only, Duarte's Wrath is level 4, Fang is level 1, Dragon Rift is level 4, Ancient Tree Roots is level 4, Solence Blade level 3, Wolf Woman level 3, Springs of Silence level 2, Tear of Arbon level 2, Way Mars Hammer level 1 and Stuff of the Prophet level 1. And when you see the other artifacts here, like the blue ones, is everything finished, everything max. And I'm focusing right now on all the epic ones to make uh, them all 5 stars and level 50. And as you can see, I got already 8 finished completely with 5 stars and level 50. Three more on level 50, but not yet stars awakened, uh, upgraded. And yeah, the rest I'm focusing on. I just do that because when I have in my mind, okay, everything is finished, I can just put them, like everything I can put into the uh, scrap thing, right? Um, And get like extra keys or stuff. But right now I don't want to do it because I know from Rise of Kingdoms that at some point they have implemented events for duplicate stuff where you can get nice bonuses and nice stuff. So I'm gonna do that right now, right? Like I'm gonna focus everything onto finishing these artifacts, at least the epic ones. The, the legendary ones, I'm not quite sure. Where the levels I will do, level, the, the star level, hmm, I don't know, we will see about that. But at least the epic ones, I want to finish everything about that. And yeah, that's so far the plan. So I have like, at least epic blue and green, everything done. And I can say, okay, I'm gonna save them now, or I'm gonna use them for scrapping and get like extra keys and stuff. My resources are that. And for that, I wanna use the calculation here. It is for Rise of Kingdoms, but you can basically use it also for, um, you know, for. For all of dragons, and we go for the way P calculation. We go to the Tome of Knowledge calculator here, and I'm gonna use put that on my second screen so I can. Uh, sorry, not not the XP calculation. I'm stupid. Gem calculation, that I mean. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Here, there you go. Because you see here on the gem calculation, five, ten, fifty, one hundred, and stuff like that. So you can use that 
for calculating your EIP tokens. So let me put everything in here real quick. And when we coming to the number, what is it? I have right now almost 900k VIP tokens, which I'm very happy about. Almost a million, which is very nice. So I'm I'm more than prepared for the level 16 level to come out. And, you know, that's why I like also to have started Call of Dragons from the beginning, because I just get oh, it's such an advantage just to keep playing. Even when I'm not buying anything since months now on my main account, not even the monthly packs, um, I just have such a high advantage that I don't really need to buy right now, right? Like, my account is good. I'm not really behind in the in heroes and stuff, just the new ones, obviously. But, yeah, it's, it's just so good because I am already such high. I see right now you have also VIP level here, but um, it is, you see, it's uh, in Rise of Kings, it's level 17 up to 18. Um, so, yeah. Um, all right, the resources. All right, let's calculate the resources here real quick. So, we got, uh, I'm gonna time skip right here real quick, so we see us back in a second. All right, guys, so I have written down all the numbers. And you there. I got a total with the food right now. Uh, so gold. So you need to know food is the gold, wood is wood, obviously, stone is ore, and the gold here is the mana. Okay. So I got a total on my account one over a billion gold right now. I got almost 1.5 billion wood. I got over a little bit over 450 million ore and I got 134 million mana. Well, the mana and the stone is obviously very low um, because I used to train a lot, you know, pipes and they are just heavily costing. Like, I don't know why, but I just have generally so much wood on my account since always. <laughs> and it is also starting to happening on my second account. Where I also starting to notice that I'm getting just overall more wood. That I need less wood. I don't know why so. And yeah, that's um, so far the resources. And which I'm, yeah, I mean, I need to say low on mana is due to the T5 pushing I did uh, last season and early this season. Um, But I'm quite happy for my golden wood. That I got so much, which is really good. So I'm prepared in terms of gold and wood when it comes later to uh, pushing and maybe also resource healing when I'm at 293. I'm probably thinking about to also resource here at 293 because I got a new job and I'm currently thinking of, you know, when I got to pay some in real life stuff, you know, and I have some money extra that I'm going to start spending again on this game. And for that, I would also maybe drop actually something for resource saving, um, at least on my main account here. On the other account, which have not yet T5'd, I will obviously not resource here. But yeah, that's so far to the resources. Let's jump to the speed ups, which are probably the more entertaining one for you. So we're gonna see us again in a second when I have written down all the speed ups. All right, here we are. I have written down all the speed ups and I got 112 days for building. Research zero because I just use everything right away um, on my speed ups uh, or my research to speed it up. And then I have currently 115 days on training and my universities are right now 566, which leads to training plus a university 681 days of speed ups which I'm quite happy about. I need around, uh, let's say, if I have around 1.5k uh, days of uh, speed ups in total, I could be able with a new kingdom buffs and stuff to hit 200 million points in the single MGE. So that's probably what I'm looking for. Or I'm gonna save for Zenith and getting a legendary skin. We'll see, we'll see. Um, but so far, I don't plan on pushing. I have a good amount of troops. I'm fine with that. 
I have heroes and um, artifacts finished what I need to. So yeah, right now just saving for probably an Archer Legendary skin or a big push on a, M uh, a TSL for getting Aether Magrid or I don't know, someone, uh, uh, someone else. We've seen. Right, the rest of the stuff is, yeah, well, not quite interesting, I guess. Gonna throw here, and so go through here so you can uh, look on it. Um, yeah, so that was that. Um, you can do also we quick the pads. The pads I need to work on and get them better, to be honest. My night work, I'm happy about that. Like agility and luck is like basically maxed, if you want to say so. Strange is also really good on the level. But unfortunately, I have only six skits, you know, but I got them pretty high. Uh, I, I got super wedge on three stars. I got hit weakness on three stars. I got white chain strike on two stars. I got chain strike on one star and Eviscerate on two stars. I just need ravage on uh, two stars as well. Um, Yeah. And when the night works, well, the night works, I don't know if I'm gonna upgrade them or not, to be honest. Because if the current meta just continues, with, then I'm just gonna have the long range ability or talent from the season talent when I will not work on my uh, night walks, uh, uh, snow peaks anymore and will focus on night walks. And yeah, so I'm currently looking for new Saphir Drakes and looking also for a Shadow Drake. Because at some point I want to have Bertrand Raven and yeah, Bertrand Toha. Was it Toha? I think Toha. And using them for a single mage damage march, basically. About coins, I don't have much coins, unfortunately. So yeah, it is a, it is a thing which you need to work on over time, right? So, but it is going better. It is going better. So that was it basically overall uh, to my account. I think I have covered everything. What is important? Let me know in the comments if you have any questions towards that. Overall, with my account, I'm pretty happy in the in the current growing rate. What I'm doing as a free to play basically. And yeah, like I told you guys, at some point this account will be in 293, then I'm gonna do a massive push. And I'm looking forward to have like two 100 million accounts. So with this one, it's, you know, it's getting close to uh, 100 million. So just by continuous growing until the global migration comes out, I'm probably already from natural growing 90 mil, maybe even 95 mil. So when I'm gonna be pushing then, holy, um, I don't know, like, it's gonna be then 110 maybe, 150 million. So it's gonna be a, uh, like a really strong account, that's for sure. And my other account is almost getting on uh, 30 million. So yeah, we're getting also kinda close there to T5. Luckily I have the king system, right? So I can get like a lot of gems per month, which I can use then for buying speed up and stuff. So, yeah, it's gonna go faster actually to T5 now than I expected on my second account. And yeah, I hope you have enjoyed that uh, video. And yeah, stay healthy everyone. Wish you a great rest of the day. Have a great start in the next day. And we're gonna see us then on the next one.